you know, in the van back to the hotel, we could dip our chips in his hand, you know, it was like just... <laughs> what can, can, can copy this recipe for sure? <laughs> Die sind Stammgäste hier in Wacken und haben gerade ein neues Album draußen. Stratovarius, Jens Johansson und Timo Cotipelto. Yeah. Hey guys! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah! You have a brand new record out called Eternal. So is it a new beginning? All the albums are like a new beginning. <laughs> But, well, this is like, of course, the name is like, it, Eternal means that something is eternal but of course the band will not last forever for sure maybe in 50 years you and i we are not there but hopefully the music will be eternal i mean usually you work pretty fast but this time took a little bit longer did you need a break just to recover we had some plans to start recording only already a year ago but then the funny thing is that we are uh, first time in our history we had the cover ready <laughs> before we have all we had all the songs together we decided that we don't have enough good songs then it doesn't make any sense to start recording so then instead <laughs> we did some more gigs and then in the meantime we did some composition it was not that, that we needed a break but we needed the songs and <laughs> sometimes it takes more time i mean look at it from a today perspective do you think maybe the lineup changed back then when york left was a change for the better it's it was for me the perfect lineup change that when the guy is leaving because he wants to leave he's just like okay i had enough of this so i'm leaving and then you know we exploited it in a way that we made it, even this like farewell tour and we made a dvd and then we took our time to find a new guy so to me this would be like the textbook example how you switch a member every other band should learn from us and bow to us because we are <laughs> we are experts so all the other bands Listen yes. and learn. Listen and learn. <laughs> <laughs> you played here in Wacken for many, many times. You don't even know exactly if it's seven or eight. So uh, what was the best show in your memory? I think the best two shows that we played, I don't remember so much about the shows, but I had this tent. So I was like uh, basically camping. That for me was like ideal. I think you don't have to deal with shuttles going back and forth, you know, to the hotel and you know, some stupid hotel where nothing is happening anyway. Uh, for me, you could go, could go to this VIP bar and then just like crawl back to your tent like 50 meters. <laughs> it was fucking perfect. I played in shorts also one, one fucking like, which probably pissed some people off. Like, how can you possibly, it's not metal to play in shorts, but it was such a nice and warm day. So I, fe I felt my toes. So it's probably <laughs> the- toes. Yeah, it's probably the most unmetal, <laughs> unmetal act on the black stage, or was it true metal stage? It's like definitely not true metal to have your toes like in shorts, like this green fucking shorts. And I, I'm sure a lot of people were like, this is not true. This is not correct. Like, but for me, it was, that's more metal than having this like, uniform you have to have black uh, leather pants or whatever like for me it, my toes were basically uh, deciding for me what to wear like i don't know if it's a good memory but i still carry it with me i, I still have my hand <laughs> which is functioning which i burn on the stage here there was a pyro flame like 1200 degrees and burned well the skin off completely from this part but i also finished the show which is Pr yeah, pretty good. I mean, finishing the show with such a heavy injury, did you just have the adrenaline pumping or the, well, how could you do that? That's what it is. I felt the pain, but it didn't, you know, really feel like I was like, oh, fuck, I need to get, get back there. And so basically, I think I missed the first verse. But then Shame it, on you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, try, <laughs> I try to get it back. Yeah, when it happened, I went to behind the stage. Basically, it looked like um, the skin of a frog, you know, like it was bubbling and steaming and it was, it was like... Freddy Krueger. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and I never seen a burn wood that close, but I was like, what the fuck's going on? And, and it was like smoking and then it, it was hurting a little bit. But after the show, uh, then, I, then the pain hit me, like when you relax and then it was like pumping every, every time your heart is beating, like... You know, in the van back to the hotel, we could dip our chips in his hand, you know, it was like just... <laughs> what can, can, can copy this recipe for sure? <laughs> I, I tell you the ingredients later. <laughs> <laughs> Some ass sweat. <laughs> you know, of course, now we can laugh about it. It's, it's a good thing. Anyway, yeah, I have some memories. 